hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you my backyard and my front yard and what's going on here in march and early spring so this is my uh, jamun pl uh, jamun, jamun, um, plant or black plum plant it has got a little bit frost damage but it's all right i'm trying to harden off it outside in my garden so it can be every uh, outside every day and i don't need to put it inside so these are my tray planters with these with trellises are peas and the one with um, you know bad looking is mint so these are the radishes I sowed and it has come up now and I made a video about that as well you can watch it how to sow your radish so now let's go to my strawberries so these are my strawberry plants. I planted I think 25 strawberry or hopefully all of them will come up and grow really well. And these are my strawberries and um, this, the little ones in the bottle are my strawberry runners I planted. So look at the, how much they have grown even if it's minus 3 degrees at night every day. So these, okay let me talk about this bed. So I made this bed by taking out all the grass, I think it's 3 by 3, three, two and a half, 3 by 2 meters I think, um, and I'm going to plant in 18 tomato plants in this bed, well, directly in the ground, but I'm going to mend the soil by composting and things like that. The black bags are actually the grass I cut out, or the sod. So. Let me just show you my the three pots, the big pots. So firstly, let me talk about this um, orange tree or orange kalamundin. So this has been outside for many days now, even if it's not minus. It was minus five one day, and it did really well. It didn't show any sign of uh, death or or frost damage. So these are my tulip planters. I planted tulips. Um, uh, in uh, I think November and I made a video about that as well these are come up really well so these are alliums and uh, the tulips are really good looking now so this is my orange uh, tree Kalamundin Panama orange so it has got fruits or may it's not fruits actually right now but it's growing fruits I really hope that it doesn't actually grow fruits this year and it's and it actually does just grow its leaves and become bigger. I mulch around with eggs, egg cartoons. So this small pot is with actually lemon. I grew from uh, seeds from grocery bought lemon. And I hung up some uh, bird seeds or bird feeders on the tree. So let me show you my roses now. First, let me show you these uh, bottle planters. I cut the bottles in the bottom as well, and I'm filled it with soil. And I'm going to plant some beautiful flowers, summer flowers, in here because I want also flowers in, on the side of my tomato bed. These are my roses. These are my five tea roses, and I put light in because it looks really beautiful at night. So these are the yellow one. This is the yellow tea rose. And to the left, it is my both pink tea roses, and they are growing. They are getting buds and leaves. They're forming leaves now. And this is my red tea rose. It's also getting some leaves, and I love this rose. I really love it. And this is the orange tea rose, also getting many buds. And the last one. I'm going to show you now is the biggest rose I have it has grown really much last year it's the white tea rose I love it love this flower some it's like blushing of pink color in it as well so the I have also um, bring some palace because I'm going to cut the some planks and make some borders this is my apple tree or not my it's, it was here when I moved here so it has also got some buds and um, I'm going to make I may plant something here uh, like gladiolus bulbs it would be could be a really pretty sight and this is my garden uh, now backyard now looking not pretty at this moment 
because it needs to be cleaned up but I'm going to do it in summertime or in late spring when it, when it becomes a bit warmer now. I thought that I would show you my kiwi plant so I made this trellis because my cat always tries to break it and it ha has grown but it lost all its leaves because of the frost hopefully it will grow and I will show you also how to train your kiwi plant to produce fruits now I'm going to show you my front yard it's looking really pretty because of the sunny day it's really hot sun and it's about 11 degrees or 12 degrees celsius today um, at the daytime and the night time is actually minus 3 and below that and this is my hosta plant and I have three hostas in it and I, I can see many roots on of the above the soil hopefully they will come up and I will also separate all the hostas in individual pots so the next thing I'm to show you is my daffodils which I planted um, in November I also made a video about that it's in the description look at these pretty flowers look at the yellow gorgeous flowers is the first spring color I got to see in 2021 and it's looking really really beautiful with all these flowers so the next pot I'm going to show you is my cordyline pot which I had my cordyline I still have my cordyline in it it's not looking really pretty because of the colis I planted and all of the colis died because of the frost so this is the cordyline I chopped off because of the frost damage it had on all of the leaves because of we had like 15 centimeter or one meter of snow I also planted a primrose in the in this pot because I wanted some color when co and the cordyline is not here I tried to trip cuttings from the colis but the cuttings died unfortunately I still have uh, many coliuses this is my hydrangea macrophylla it's looking really pretty and it's starting to grow and you can see all of the new buds I hope this will flower very much this year and I hope this was not a white hydrangea I bought because I really wanted the purple or the blue one this is the second pot of my cordyline I also chopped this off as you can see and I also have some cinnamon because I wanted the chopping, chopped part to heal so this is my front yard at um, at this stage first I'm going to show you my roses climbing roses now so this is the climbing rose parade which is the pink one as you can see and I'm going to also made a make a video when I show you how to prune your climbing roses it's time to actually spring it's springtime now so I'm really happy this is the also a pot of tulips as you can see the tulips are come up now really pretty and uh, the next plant is my climbing rose Paul's scarlet which is the red or scarlet colored um, rose looking really pretty and also going to prune that and it has got many buds on it and also look at the spider <laughs> and the spiders um, weather, weather has also come now and uh, the next pot which I'm going to show you is my next tulip pot which I planted as you can see one bulb has got like many bulbs have got four or five tulip stems this is because I think we had like really much cold weather the tulip bulb got the chill and this is my golden climber um, rose which also got many um, buds as you can see the shape is not great because it's a climbing rose and I can't make it climb to the um, trellis so I need to move the trellis uh, back on the opposite side so I can climb that so now let me show you this is the fuchsia bush not getting um, any buds right now as you can see this is my front yard so let's get to the side of my front yard which is the north side of my house as you can see I've got a holy bush uh, this was here all I really, really love it because you know this is a north side and I can't have any color on the north side because north side doesn't get even too much sun as you can see this make a really beautiful um, color in the side uh, side yard really beautiful it get, it gets like red berries in the autumn and the birds come and eat them it's really pretty sight when it gets berries and I don't know what type of plant this is I've never 
I don't actually care about this plant. I don't know what this is. I think it's diseased as well because I can see black stems. And there's a berry, as you can see, on the holly right now. It's not usual actually, it's actually in the autumn time. And this is my um, frontier. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you later in the next video. Bye!